Sacred Sacred Friends. Thank you so much for tuning in for another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Maggie and I do all types of spiritual care videos. So if that's something you may be interested in, you want to get your life, you want to be more of an elevated woman, a more Christ-like woman, then please consider subscribing before you leave. So you guys know I'm always stressing how important our role is under God, how important our role is as a mother and as a wife, how important our role is as a Christian woman, right? So that's today. Ugh. So that's what today's video is going to be about. I want to talk about the five desires that God has for women because yes, not only does God hold men to a high standard, he holds us women up as a high standard as well. And it took me so long, you guys, to like realize that. I always thought that God was mad at women. Yes, I used to think that God was like punishing women for Eve and things like that. But once guys, and you should too, once you start to take your role more seriously, start to understand your role, study your role, things like that, a woman's role or, you know, what it is that God desires for women, guys. Like, and this is over the years, guys, right? I've been on a spiritual journey for a long time, right? But, um, but yeah, I've come to the conclusion that God holds us to a higher standard as well. And we are to be a certain way or to have a certain standard as well. And I'll get to that in a second, but I just wanted to express how important that is and how important reading your Bible, studying for yourself, not just from what te people teach you or from what people tell you. Learn, study scripture, look it up for yourself and really, really start to learn what it is that you want to learn, right? And I wanted to learn more about a woman's role, how to be a more faithful woman, how to be a more godly woman, things like that. And then I channel that into my channel here, right? So that's what today is going to be about. Five of God's desires for women. So let's go ahead and jump into number one. So the first thing that God desires of a woman is gentleness. Now, I struggled with this for a long time. Maybe I struggle to struggle with this. Like I know I'm all glammed up, but I am such a tomboy. I am so goofy. I am so playful. Like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> so, I don't know. Gentleness was just never, like, in my vocabulary. But, of course, when I got older, started becoming a wife and a mother, you know, I had to become more patient, which I'm still working on. And now, become more gentle, right? And that's in the form of our attitudes. That's in the form of dealing with our children. That's in the form of dealing with other people. God desires a sort of gentleness for women because we know that God is the Prince of Peace. He was peaceful. He was slow to react, slow to anger, things like that. And of course, he wants that same desire in us women too, not just for men, right? So gentleness is definitely a desire. The second thing that God desires of women is quietness. <laughs> Guys, I know quietness. Like, I don't know why this wasn't number one, but we all know what a murmuring tongue leads to. We all know what complaining and what yelling leads to. And I'm talking like this because, yes, I am still working on this area. Um, <laughs> of course, I am still working on it, like me fussing at the kids and things like that. I'm definitely still working in this area. Uh, of course, I not where I used to be. I'm not just all rambunctious or anything. So anyone who knows me knows. I'm just naturally loud sometimes I don't know but then some people say I'm very quiet I don't know it's so weird when you think about it some people say I'm really quiet or I talk really low and then other times I'm just like my voice can like literally escapade and like fill up a whole room um you know what I'm saying it's so weird when you think about it so I tried to balance it or whatever but quietness slow to respond which I'm still working on <laughs> slow to react, slow to fuss, slow to anger. Quietness is definitely an important desire for us women to have because who just wants a rambunctious, just talking, yapping, nagging woman all the time. That's foolish and it is without God's grace, okay? So that's number two. Our third desire is hope. Hope, guys, especially if you're a mother, especially if you're a working mother and a wife and, you know, difficult times does not discriminate, you know what I'm saying? So when we have that hope, of all things to work out for the greater good and we have that hope is something to hold on to when things are not going our way it's very important because sometimes the man man it's very important for man too but say you're in a marriage the man is usually the one trying to figure out the things physically you're trying to take care of things right away and trying to fix everything but it's up to us women as well especially again in a marriage or even if you're single but in a marriage too that we are designed to have that hope to have that confidence that God is there to have that confidence that God is going to work through us and help help us through 
any any difficult time so that hope hope without works is dead and works without hope is dead right so we have to do everything with faithfulness we have to do everything in hopes that it's gonna happen and in hopes that it's already in the works right that's the only thing to get the ball rolling is to have hope and expectancy that is coming and that is already on the way right so a lot of times we block our blessings because we want to complain or we want to murmur or we want to not have hope or act like we have hope but then say okay how can I fix it still what can I do about it right no whole total hope is relinquishing every fear every hold and casting it all into God's you know honor right so we need hope guys the fourth desire of us women is faithfulness guys so that's in a marriage that's being committed into him that's being faithfulness unto your modesty and into all the commandments like faithfulness is important for everybody but especially for us women especially for a wife faithfulness is very important for a Christian faithfulness into the Lord and to Bible study and to committing unto his ways is so important because if we're not faithful to his ways then and we want to live and we want to do what the world does and what the devil tells us to do then we're cheating we're not faithful anymore we're you know going our own way and all the faithfulness and I wrote here under faithfulness that is determination to do good and to obey God in love right so our faithfulness is just being in love respecting and honoring that relationship and being faithful to it just like a marriage or a relationship right so we can't forget about faithfulness and our last desire for us women which I know there's more but these top five fifth one is fearlessness fearlessness so again we can't be fearful and fearlessness and faithful at the same time it doesn't work that way we have to be fearless and knowing that okay I already know difficult times are gonna come I don't know when I don't know how don't know in what form but the fearlessness is of knowing that that it's not going to break me it's not going to scare me it's not going to deter me it's having courage it's having courage in the light of God's promises it's having courage in the light of God's grace in his forgiveness and of his works and his promises again to us so that's what fearlessness is having courage in light of God's steadfast promises and the more we live in fearlessness and the more um what's the word I'm trying to say then the more open the more willing God is going to be raining down on us right we're storing up those treasures in heaven when we live fearlessly when we live in hope when we live in faithfulness when we live in gentleness and quietness we are storing up treasures in heaven that are just going just going to be so overwhelming that the blessings are going to just rain down from heaven and that's what we want but we have to live as the desires of God we have to live and become the women that God wants us to be right and it's all for our greater good he's not trying to change us he's not trying well he's trying to change us for the good but he's not trying to not have our own way of living you know what I'm saying he's trying to make us a better version of ourselves and we already are right because he loves us that way he's trained us that way he's trying to train us that way and to teach us something that only he understands right so that's why it's like not a problem for me to follow and to listen and to you know do all the things that he wants me to do because I already know the benefits I already know the promises and the rewards it's already spelled out for us in the Bible and when we really get to those promises and those rewards and those blessings that he has for us oh, oh we, we gonna want to do everything right <laughs> you know in the eyes of the Lord and I think the sooner we start to live like that then the more like the ball and the blessing ball will start to roll in our lives right so so yeah that's all i have for this video those were our five desires of course there's more but those are the main five desires that god intends for us women to live by to have steadfast in our hearts already right and yeah to basically live by so yeah i really hope that was helpful hopefully that helps us want to be more of a godly woman and to be more in tune with him right that's definitely my goal over here so yeah that's all i have for this video i love you guys so much and i'll catch you in the next one peace